Hi everyone, I just finished a album recording, session album recording here in Studio Fredman Gothenburg and I figured that I'd share with you some of the equipment that I've been using. So uh, we have a Thomas Star Classic Maple kit uh, and you have a 22 by 18 kick, uh, 12 by 9, 13 by 10, 18 by 16. And if you come around this side here, you'll see that I'm using a 16 by 14 on my left hand side. All of my symbols are Sabian. I'll show you around what I've been using. We have a um, 15 inch uh, accelerator hats, um, Holy China 19, 18 HX uh, explosion. A 10 inch evolution splash and a HH uh, China Kang, also 10 inch. Then you have a HHX explosion 20 inch and a V crash 20 inch uh, AAX. The, this used to be the Vault series, but I guess they've been sort of merged into the AAX range. Um, you have a, a 19 inch Paragon China and a HHX uh, power bell ride 22 inch. No, that's no X, HH power bell ride. Um, so that's it for the symbols. Um, like that. Uh, all my drum heads on the toms are coated EC2s, Evans by Evans. You have an EQ4 on the tom or sorry on the kick drum uh, and uh, a, a new snare drum head called ST which was uh, ST dry um, which was pretty powerful normally I go through these like like crazy during the recordings but uh, this has actually lasted me for eight songs so that's pretty good um, the snare drum I borrowed from a fellow Swedish drummer because I couldn't bring a snare drum over and for some reason I didn't get one with a borrow kit so um, it's from Abbe from Adept so thank you very much for that we have um, my trusted uh, Charcy Capito pedals um, I'm using some uh, lighter beaters but otherwise it's uh, the pedal is uh, pretty much sort of factory setting from uh, what you get when you order it from his website. Um, that's it, I think. Yeah, uh, it's nothing strange. I've got uh, also. I'm using some Roland uh, Roland trigger on here, uh, and that is connected to this little thing over here. Um, Roland TM2. And I use that mainly for monitoring. I use it live uh, as well. When when we play live, I have it, and the sound sound guy mixes the sound that you hear in the audience with the acoustic sound. So you get a blend of the attack of the trigger and the tone of the natural drum. Um, in the studio, I've been using it um, mainly for for hearing myself the final result what you'll hear on the album will be a mixture of whatever the engineer that mixes the album chooses to use um, sometimes you use the audio from the actual kick drum and you back it up with like a sample that's kind of common practice really but um yeah anyway um thanks for watching and um Feel free to share and uh, comment on, on the video. All the best. See you on the road. Bye.